Okay, last year I shared 10 things that I don't buy or own as a nutritionist and the list has kind of expanded for good reason. So today I'm sharing 15 things that I personally never buy as a nutritionist. And today's video is sponsored by The Reserve. More on them in a bit. And the first thing is probiotics. <laughs> probiotics can have a very specific use for certain types of people, but it's really not something that like everybody needs to be taking and they can be really expensive. And for some people it can actually make things worse, especially if you have SIBO or some type of overgrowth within the gut, which has become fairly common. Adding more bacteria into the mix can actually just make things worse. So for myself personally, I don't take probiotics. I just eat naturally probiotic rich foods from my homemade Greek yogurt and sauerkraut. Okay, the second thing I never buy are low carb breads. Specifically, we're talking about like the store-bought ones. And even from there, we're talking about a specific category because there are some low carb breads that are actually really great. These are brands like Outer Isle, which I'm a big fan of, but the other ones that aren't so great are the ones that just try too hard to mimic regular bread. And they're just so nutrient poor. And they tend to really only have like wheat, gluten, and a ton of other ingredients. Now I'm not personally 100% gluten-free, but I do find I tend to do a bit better with my gut health when I'm not having it on a daily basis. So for this reason, if I'm having a low carb bread alternative, I stick to things like coconut wraps or cauliflower wraps that actually use cauliflower or even just regular old lettuce wraps. Okay. The third thing that I never buy are dairy free cheeses or butters like dairy free butters. Okay. There's also like two categories of dairy free cheeses and butters. It's either the ones that are made with like a ton of cashews or the ones that are made with highly processed vegetable oils. Obviously I'm staying away from the inflammatory vegetable oils. So that takes out like that whole half, but I've also found for myself personally at least, and this isn't the case for everybody, the dairy-free cheeses that rely on cashews just really disrupt my gut. <laughs> they don't make my gut happy. It causes a lot of bloating. Plus I love regular dairy containing cheese. I don't have a problem with it. My body does really well with it. And there's a lot of health perks that are only in my dairy products, especially fermented dairy products, like a great source of calcium and vitamin K2, which is essential for heart health and bone health. Now, if you're dairy-free and those nut cheeses work for you, great. They don't work for me though. Okay. Okay, the fourth thing that I never buy are coffee pods. These are typically made with like plastic or aluminum and the actual coffee maker itself that uses the pods tend to be like really contaminated with mold because it's like the perfect growing environment for it. So I personally stick to grinding my coffee fresh each day and making it in a French press that I can ensure is thoroughly cleaned after and dried. Now, before we move on to the next item on my list, I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, The Reserve. Especially if you love matcha, making it at home ensures you have complete control control over the whole process and that it doesn't contain any sugar. So it's actually something that supports your weight loss and wellness goals. The reserve has high quality organic matcha that contains zero sugar and is really easy to make into a matcha latte. Or you can even easily add it into your smoothies by just taking like a teaspoon of it and putting it straight in. The reserve also has different flavored matchas that you can test out to spice things up. And the reserve has a ton of other organic superfoods that are great additions into your smoothies. You guys know that I love using smoothies because it's super easy to pack in all the nutrients you need to help support your body in one complete meal. And you can even sneak in superfoods if you're looking to add these in, like maca, spirulina, ashwagandha, and lion's mane. And right now the reserve is offering my community 50% off their entire store, which includes their organic matcha and their organic superfoods. So you definitely wanna make sure that you stock up because 50% off, that's like a really great deal. <laughs> make sure you check out the reserve. I'll have them linked down description below. They're offering the 50% off discount to my community for the next month from when this video airs. So make sure to check out the link down description below to stock up. Okay, the fifth thing that I never buy is pre-popped bagged popcorn. This is basically like having chips in the house. Popcorn really doesn't have any satiety. I mean, like who eats one cup of popcorn and stops? <laughs> if there's like a whole pre-popped bag of popcorn in front of me, I know that I would probably eat the whole bag. That's just hormonally what happens because popcorn doesn't really contain any protein or fat to make you satisfied. So I'm not saying that I never have popcorn, but instead what we do is we keep popcorn kernels in our house where we'll take that extra step to make our popcorn for like a movie night. But just having bagged popcorn in the house makes it really easy to munch on. Okay, the sixth thing I never buy are egg whites. First of all, like they just look gross. <laughs> but second, just regular egg whites are missing out on some of the most important nutrients that eggs provide. Most of the vitamin D, the choline, the vitamin A come from the actual yolk. Plus it just tastes so much better when you're eating the full egg and not just egg white. But I'm also a bit biased because I have some backyard chickens that are just like cranking out eggs right now. <laughs> okay, the seventh thing that I never buy are crackers. This is another one that's really easy to mindlessly eat. Plus most crackers 
like 99.9% of crackers are just made with really refined carbohydrates that spike the storing hormone insulin and shut off fat burning. The eighth thing I never buy is fake meat. Fake meat products are usually made out of pea protein or soy. So it's a much lower quality protein. It's also so much more processed. And ironically, it tends to be a lot more expensive than just eating meat. Not to mention there's the inflammatory oils that's in them and the lack of all the essential nutrients that can be found in various actual meat products. So I personally never buy the fake meat products. I stick with beef, pork, fish, and chicken. Okay, the ninth thing I never buy are melatonin supplements. The body naturally makes it, so I don't take it. Taking melatonin, which people forget, but it's a hormone, will never actually give the exact amount that the body needs in that moment. It's really easy to either take too much or too little, which can cause someone to feel really groggy the next morning, or on the flip side, not be able to stay asleep. So instead, I like to just naturally support my melatonin production by having things like magnesium and no tech time before bed. Okay, the 10th thing I never eat are low-fat dairy products. And this is across the spectrum, any low-fat dairy, yogurt, cottage cheese, etc. The one exception is skier because it doesn't come in any other type other than low-fat. Otherwise, I always stick to full-fat. And this is because full-fat is going to be more satiating. Not to mention the fat is where you get a lot of the fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin K2. Okay, the 11th thing that I never buy are wellness shots. Now, I'm not talking about like the homebrew ones. Those ones are pretty awesome. I'm talking about the ones that you can buy pre-made at like the grocery store or at a lot of different coffee shops. I'm not fully convinced that the wellness shots that were made multiple days ago is as potent as what I can just make at home. So I will make my own like homebrew wellness shot that has ginger, garlic, oregano oil, turmeric, and salt. And oh my gosh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> okay, the 12th thing that I never buy is dried fruit. This is another one that's just too easy to snack on. They're also really high in sugar, even the unsweetened ones, and have a really high glycemic load. On average, they have a glycemic load of around 46, which considering a high glycemic load is 20, that is mind blowing. <laughs> the one caveat for when I will use dried fruit is if it's in like a specific recipe, usually some type of Moroccan dish that uses some dried apricots. And even then I buy the specific amount I need for that recipe and no more. 13th thing I never buy is pre-workout. Pre-workout is just so dang high in caffeine and I'm already caffeine sensitive. I don't need more of it. <laughs> I personally prefer to get my caffeine from natural sources like coffee, tea, or matcha. That way it's not like super jam packed with caffeine and it also has a little bit of natural antioxidants in there as well. Okay, the 14th thing I never buy is grapeseed oil or canola oil. Both grapeseed oil and canola oil are higher in the inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, although grapeseed oil tends to be higher. And they both typically use hexanes to extract the oil, which is a chemical solvent, and trace amounts are usually left behind, which makes sense because they're both small seeds that are really hard to get the oil out of. So I personally prefer to use ghee, coconut oil, butter, and olive oil for my main cooking and dressing oils. Okay, the 15th thing I never buy is coconut water. Now, I used to be addicted to coconut water. I loved it, and it's because it's so sweet. <laughs> And most people say like, oh, just have coconut oil for electrolytes. Yeah, it does have some electrolytes, but it also has a lot of sugar. So to get enough electrolytes from the coconut water, you would have to drink a lot of it. And then you also get a lot of sugar. So instead of using like coconut water in my smoothies, I use coconut milk instead, which doesn't have that huge sugar content. And then for electrolytes, instead I use Celtic sea salt, Redmond salt, or Element. But if I am going to have coconut water, it's more of like a sweet treat that's on the occasion. Now, if you missed my previous video on the 10 things that I never buy or own, you can check that out right here. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video.